What's up everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today, this time on the main PC here, and we're gonna have a look at Star Wars Outlaws. I should have the screen up, but completely forgot to launch it, but that's what we're going to do today. So I guess let's not waste any more time and let's get ourselves into the game. Well, now we'll do the same thing we did on the secondary computer. We'll start off on ultra, just native, see what it can do, and just move on from there. So we'll check out all the settings. We're on the ultra quality preset. All I really did was turn all the motion blur crap down. I can't turn depth of field off, so I just left it on high. If I can't turn it off, I might as well have high quality, right? There we go. There's the rest of the settings. And now let's go see how this does. Check Here we go. Safe. With any luck, let's see how this thing does. Shuttle to the core worlds. This is tough. I'm sure there's going to be some spots where it drops a little under 60. But I got you too. There's one spot that was in the secondary computer where it dropped all the way down to like 52 or something like that. Okay. So I'm sure this one will probably do something similar. But let's run around and find out. Maybe I'll be wrong. More stuff. Yep, 54 there. 53, 51. Still, though, I will say it's over 60 more than it's under. That's for absolute fact. Police will be loaded with credits. I don't know if Reli or not Reli, but if Shadow Play uses any FPS or if it somehow is magic and just doesn't use up any, but anyway, let's move on. Well, let's try dropping it down to high now and see how if it can stay over 60 that way, native, without any help from DLSS or anything like that. So here's the rest of the settings. There we are. Let's go see how this does. Well, now, here we go. Getting ourselves a little high gameplay now. And I have a feeling this would be just fine. Just like on the secondary computer, we could probably get over 60 without any help from DLSS. But a lot of people like, well, even I do sometimes, well, you know, pick ultra, or at least a few ultra settings like textures, and then just turn DLSS on because it'll look better than the uh, game did before without it because it gets rid of the damn uh, TAA. And I don't know what this game uses. It could be TAA, I'm not sure. But so far so good, we're getting plenty of FPS for a game like this. But it'd always be nice to have it look a little clearer and get even more, right? Frame gen is the one I probably would not run on this. That'd just be a little bit too ridiculous. But hey, if you want to run it, I think it makes it get smooth gameplay. So you might as well. But a lot of the times I just notice it turn, puts a little extra artifacts in or some things are a little goofy looking if you really look for it. But that's if you're really looking for it. I don't know if I would notice it if I weren't sitting here behind a screen just watching myself play, getting voiceovers, you know? Alright, I can have him fetch that. So this is where I finally figured it out. It took to the main computer till I figured out where he could do that. But it's better late Good than never, job, I guess. Buddy. 
We're still getting really smooth frame times. Hell yeah. Love to see it. Can we, is there anything back here? No. But worth checking out. You never know if you don't check. Well now, why don't we move along? Let's try a little DLSS now. We're just gonna do quality. And then after that, we'll try frame gen. I would have tried that ray reconstruction, but I don't really know what that does. So I just left it alone. Alrighty, let's get into the game. All right, here we go. Let's see how this does. And then I uh, noticed that my recording for the frame gen is gone. Well, I don't know if I just forgot to hit record. I'm pretty sure I didn't, but maybe I did. We'll have to wait and see if the uh, TV PC did the same thing or not. If that one recorded it and this, other, this one didn't, then I'll know. If neither one of them did it, then it probably just doesn't want to record frame gen stuff, even though it said it was, you know? But it at least recorded this settings screen so you think if it could record the settings screen it could record anything so i probably just forgot but we can at least use the settings screen for the camera recorded gameplay not the end of the world i'm curious to see what happens on the tv pc too This is just DLSS. And it's doing pretty damn good. More than playable. Well now, let us move along. All right, here's the settings for frame gen. I don't know if I forgot to record this or it just didn't want to record it or what, but there is no recording for it, even though I'm pretty sure I hit record, but hey, maybe I just think I did and I didn't actually, or I double hit it, but then they would have at least recorded a second and still been there and just been ruined. So I don't know what happened. I'll have to wait and see on the 5800X 3D and 4090 PC and see if that recorded it or not. Then I'll promote for sure. Let us now get some camera recorded gameplay. And this is just on the same settings we were just on with the frame gen and all that stuff. Hey, yeah, go get that stuff. Glad I looked down and noticed that finally. I should have been getting that the whole time, not like it matters, but... Nice one, pal. Okay. I need to give you something. Nope. No something for me. They already got something, a hydro spanner.
Where to now? Take your parts. I definitely see some random Next uh, coming in. Like artifact we'll things. Call. Probably from frame gen, because I didn't really notice them until we turned that on, but at least they're few far and in between. Okay. Though we did get one crash. Right after I was done getting okay. the settings for frame gen, before I did the screen report, I, just, I went to go reset my timer and I look up and game's gone. It's saving my three game saves to the cloud. So that was definitely not cool. It's the first time that's happened on anything. I mean, could happen on everything if I played longer, but happened so far first just on this guy. And I'm pretty sure everything's stable on it. At least it was last time I tested. I think that's plenty of camera recorded gameplay, so why don't we go wrap this video on up? Well, alright guys, that's a wrap for Star Wars Outlaws, and apparently it decided to put a hat for X to find up there. Screw you. Get out of here, you. Anyway, so that's all for Star Wars Outlaws. It seemed to run pretty damn good, like, on everything. Obviously, on maxed out settings, it can't quite maintain 60 everywhere, and it'll probably only get worse the further you go, but turn a little DLSS on, quality, and you're pretty much golden, at least where I was. Again, there could be places that might not work later on, but for me in this area, it seemed like it was was doing just fine but in any case that's all i got for you guys for this particular video i hope you guys enjoyed the video because i sure as hell enjoy making it for you guys and until the next video peace out guys